As can be expected with the population shifts around Kentucky compared to 10 years ago, this map in some areas looks quite a bit different. Every 10 years, states are required by the U.S. Constitution to redraw their congressional and legislative maps. Thursday, House Republicans unveiled their proposed map for the Kentucky House of Representatives, which includes consolidating four incumbents districts, two Republican and two Democratic. As we know, there's been dramatic population shifts in Kentucky, and because of those population shifts, uh, this plan did uh, have uh, districts that had to be combined. One area that shifted quite a bit is Jefferson County. And while House Minority Floor Leader Joni Jenkins, a Democrat from Shively, isn't concerned her party will lose seats. Regardless of how you draw the maps, you're going to have about 14 Democrats in Louisville. She does have concern about losing experienced legislators. That's because two sets of Democratic House incumbents from Louisville would be placed in the same district if this plan holds. We certainly would like our experienced legislators who are of those 14 now to come back because they have experience in representing their, their communities. But House Speaker David Osborne, a Republican from Prospect, says it's not easy drawing new maps. Before you draw any complete conclusions about any particular district or any particular uh, area, draw the map first and draw it in context of the entire state. And that's where it gets really difficult. Speaker Osborne says if all goes as planned, they intend to send the final House map to the governor for approval next week, of course, after it's voted on in both the House and the Senate. The Senate and congressional maps still aren't out. We're expecting those on Tuesday. Reporting in Frankfurt, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side.